why would you decide to revisit a film that you'd already made once before? Basically, I mean, qu quite frankly, because it wasn't a film we made before. Because it was a, a, a rewrite by uh, Harold Pinter from Tony Schaefer's play. And if you, if you bother to check it out, which you don't have to, of course, because I'm going to tell you, it, there's not a single line <laughs> in Pinter's that was from the other play. It's completely different. What Pinter did was he stole the plot. I, I mean, we owned the plot, but it, he just read, he'd never seen the movie, Harold Pinter. He'd never seen the movie or the play of, of Sleuth. So he just thought this was a very good plot and wrote a play around this plot. And what we filmed is his play. Okay, well, I thought the shooting aesthetic was really interesting because you almost set the audience up as like this third member of this group who's in another room being a voyeur. And I'm wondering why you chose to shoot it that way. We wanted to put the audience in the game. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a two great performances from Michael and from Jude Law, this cat and mouse psychological thriller. And the first thing we wanted to do is let the audience feel um, absolutely involved in, in a world that was unsettling. So you see the exterior of a period house, you go inside, it's completely modern. It, there are w wide and weird camera angles. You're above, you're below, you're looking through a glass that has a whiskey poured. The man hasn't asked him if he wants a drink yet, hasn't chosen the whiskey. Everything starts to unsettle. So we wanted a shooting style that made you feel as an audience member through these 88 really, you know, action-packed minutes that you, you're in a game that you have to solve and anything could mean something important. Okay, when I last talked to Jude Law, I asked him about this because I saw it coming up on his thing, and he said that the reason you chose this movie is because you guys had an argument about who was the better Alfie, and you were trying to figure <laughs> that out on screen with that. Is that at all true? No, 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 no. He was, he was kidding you. No, the reason I did it was pure, I would never have remade Anthony Schofer's script because I didn't think there was any point in remaking that sleuth. I thought it was perfectly good as it was. I think Joe Mankiewicz did a wonderful job in Larry Olivier. Yeah, yeah. But this, this was because I did it because of, uh, of the Pinter script, which is so different. Plus, I had done uh, P Pinter's first play ever, which is called The Room, a one-act play. I did that in the Royal Court in London. And, uh, and then he wrote for 50 years, won the Nobel Prize, the most performed playwright in the world, and I never got another part in a Pinter. <laughs> no one ever gave me another Pinter show. So when Jude turned up with this, I said, right, I'm doing it. But it was great to see uh, Michael and Jude on screen for the first time together and see that chemistry. It's a fantastic kind of gladiatorial battle between these two characters, but it was also fascinating to see two different acting styles, uh, two very differently charismatic, sexy fellas locked in this struggle about a woman that we never see. Uh, and it was great. It was great fun to try and direct that. Well, was there any pitfalls working with these two actors? Um, that they're so far ahead of the game, you really have to keep up with them. They work very hard. We rehearsed really hard in order to make it seem completely spontaneous. Yeah, yeah, well, that's real. the thing you should know too. Uh, that, that, that this was rehearsed for three weeks and shot in four. The one that I made with Larry was sixteen weeks to shoot, four months. No. I don't remember what we did for the whole four months, but <laughs> it took four months. Well, I'm wondering if there's any specific challenges that arise when you're working with just two actors as opposed to having a full set of actors and extras and everybody it's else. It's very there. concentrated. It's very intense, claustrophobic. It means you have to be very inventive. It means, I think, for the audience that there's an immense amount of variety. You get to see the fellas in X-ray roles. So they get to be funny. They get to be sexy. They get to be intimidating. They get to be violent. They get to be cruel. They get to be fast, slow. I mean, you name it. You see everything. Every, you're very aware of trying to be as various and varied as possible. That's what the game requires that's what the film requires and actually that becomes a really interesting challenge and if you're lucky which we were and Michael Jude Harold Pinter and myself all got on all respected each other then it's both that very hard work yeah. and it's a party as well yeah we all got on we had a great time together also people say two people together isn't that theatrical you said what well, two people together all the time in real life we just happened to film a bit where they were together before the party or before the other six people came in, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. two people together is not the actual. It's, it's, it's exactly, and it's one of the most riveting central yeah. pieces of uh, of drama you could possibly have. Two protagonists, and in this case, two fantastic actors. Now um, I'm going to wrap it up. So can I ask you: Is there anything you can tell us about the Batman movie? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The Batman movie. The big surprise in that for me and you will be Heath Ledger as the Joker. Fantastic. I heard he's the scariest thing you've oh, ever seen. Oh, he's the scariest. Oh. Scary, yeah. No, does Alfred have an altercation with him? Yeah. A pretty bad one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Great. <laughs>